The key to solving the mental illness problem is first things first, take control of your life. Don't blame anyone else, don't blame doctors, don't blame the medicine world like I did with regards to my girlfriend. But I was an, obviously being an angry person didn't help. Uh, but the key is to gain knowledge, research, information. I must stress that you will, if you want to get yourselves well, you've got to be prepared to put in the time and research. And Mark Foster, who came in doing Law of Attraction, yeah, it took me a year to figure out Law of Attraction, and when I sussed out, what the hell has Law of Attraction got to do with all this? And it clicked. Law of Attraction, what Mark was saying, which was interesting, was if you put your energy and attention and focus on something, yeah, basically it manifests in creation. It manifests exactly what's happened here. So because my old head and energy, attention and focus was finding out the truth, God says yes to everything. Doesn't say no. God says yes. So if you turn around in law of attraction and go, um, let's say for instance you there, let's say you come up and say, oh, I say to you, what do you look for in a man? And if you say, well, I don't want someone who's a gerbil and a cow's potato, I don't want a lazy get, and I don't want a pot smoking dope head and an alky piss head. Base, <laughs> base, That's just what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Basically, you've said there in Law of Attraction, you've given attention to all the things you don't want. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, so basically, you've given attention to all the things to all the things you don't want. So what you're doing there, God says yes to everything. So basically, you're so. And I remember once this woman on the bus. She says to me, she said to me, this woman once going to Rochdale. She said, you know, I always seem to get the idiots. And I went, okay. What do you look for in a bloke? And she said, well, she says. I look basically, I don't want someone who's lazy, who's a fat get, who's overweight. I don't want someone who's a pot smoking druggie and someone who just never does anything and never helps out. And I went, alright. I said, what's your last, what's your last partner a pot smoking dope head, a lazy fat get and all this, etc, etc. And she went, yeah, the last three. <laughs> and I went, and I turned around and I went, how interesting. I said, brilliant. I said, do you know why you've got all them pot smoking door beds and alkies and piss heads? Because you've given attention, my darling, to what you don't want. So I said to her, what you've got to do is turn it around and say what you do want. So she said, well, I want someone who's loving and sensitive and caring, who treats me right and all. And I went, right, keep the energy, intentional focus on what you want and it will come. Don't expect it to come straight away, but it will happen. And Mark Foster, bless his cotton socks, you know, he's, he's an amazing guy. And when I figured it out, Law of Attraction, I thought, wow, this is to do with creation. And we are accountable responsible for what we do. So if we give our attention to, let's say, being around someone who smokes dope all the time, then you're going to get more of it. So basically... The key I'm saying tonight is, you don't have to take up all what all I said, you can ignore it, you don't have to, but what I will say, there's a fundamental truth in all this, and the truth comes in three stages. First it's ridiculed, which I've had plenty of ridicule about this, uh, second it's violently opposed, and third it becomes self-evident. And this all became so self-evident to me, and I thought, then the doctors... And when my partner died, I deregistered myself off the NHS. I sent a letter to them and said, how the hell can you sleep at night knowing that you're drugging people up and killing them? And they never answered. And basically, ever since then, I've seeked to go more deeper into it. And yeah, I do want to work in mental health, but <laughs> I think the NHS won't be a key for me <laughs> because they'll want to get rid of me because I'll be a threat to them. So it wouldn't surprise me if the psychiatrists are smoking dope just to cope with it all and drink themselves to death. <laughs> but there you go. So basically, all I say to you people here, take care of yourselves. Think of love, empathy and compassion, not negative rubbish. 
Think of the people you love and respect the most, yeah? And try to do your best to sort yourself out. Never mind what other people are doing around you. First, get yourself sorted out biochemically. Once you've done that, then you have the energy, tension and focus, and people will connect with you because your energy and spirit will be there. And the, for you women that sat here, the female species has a more infinite connection to this positive energy than a man does. Because men tend to be very, what they call, focused on, let's say for instance, a woman's sense of self is derived through her feelings and the quality of relationship, whereas a male's sense of self is their ability to achieve results. So what you've got is two psychological versions. But what I found being with Linda and Helen, my best friend, who was my teacher for 25, with friends for 25 years, these were two women who had a spirit that was way beyond most people's comprehension. And what made me realise was women are the true energy sources in the universe. They are as true as possible at the moment. What's happening to the female species or what's happening to men? Become corrupted because we've become so engrossed in negative rubbish, media, press, and the biggest hypnotizer is the bloody black box in the corner of your living room. So what I'm saying to you is, the key here is to love yourself. It's to, well, not so much love yourself, that's a bit backward, because if you don't love yourself, how the hell can you? But the key is to respect yourself. And put the right food in your body, take the right supplements, and you will your energy will go through the roof and your spiritual vibrational energy people will connect with you but do not complain when you attract the wrong type <laughs> especially pot smoking dope heads and all and alkies so basically <laughs> be happy in your body when you get biochemically stable and your pH balance is right you will lose weight you'll drop the weight like no tomorrow and you will feel good about yourself don't fall, try not to focus on weight. Focus on biochemistry. And that will be the key to you obtaining that essence of spirit. So thank you for coming today. It's been most enlightening talking about all this. And I hope it's been something, obviously, that you people have enjoyed. So I hope that all this information will give you an opportunity to find it all out yourself and question if you want to question me and all, go ahead. Brilliant, Terry. Yeah, excellent. First of First of many, hopefully. Yeah. It will be. It will take time. It's just people... It's a shame because we've got a crisis of consciousness. And when true love starts to appear, that's when we'll see a difference in the world. But we've got to focus uh, on gaining that love. You cannot get it from other people. You've got to get it from within. And the only true energy source, and infinite love is the only truth, everything else is a bloody illusion. So basically we need to focus on the God that we truly connect with. And I don't mean religion and Christianity. What I mean is focusing on the one true energy source, who we are. What we are, what we're here for. And thank God I had Linda and Helen. I really do. They, they, I'm so eternally grateful because I've got a true gift of what women are in the world. And women are wonderful spirits. I don't care what anybody says. Women are the true spirits. We have just corrupted them and we've made them into things that we don't want them to be. Or we try to control and manipulate people in relationships, which is not right. We should let each other be free spirits. Go along like a stream of water going down the street. That's who we are. What is the point in listening to all the media and press? Because they're not there to tell us. They're only there to tell us what the establishment and the shadow men behind the curtain want us to know. And the, the elite at the top of the pyramid, all they're there for is to control and manipulate. They're not there to see us healthy people. Unity is the key for the future and I'm hoping so for the future, I want to put all my energy and focus even more deeper into this. And my next talk is going to be on cancer. 
how they cure it and everything. And obviously, I'm not going to be very much liked by doctors, I suppose. <laughs> But so we've got to do a lot of research into that. Oh, yeah, I've already done quite a lot, but I'm going to do a heck of a lot more. But ADHD, for instance, which I forgot to mention on here, what do they give to kids? The, the drug called Ritalin. What is Ritalin? It's an amphetamine more potent than cocaine. It contains over 60 flipping listed side effects. It's terrible. And this is what we're doing to our kids. And I keep saying to myself, what the hell are we doing? You have to let us know when you've finished your one on cancer. Yeah, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up doing it next year at Scott Monastery as well. I'm going to go to Monastery and, you know, and I'm going to come here as well doing it here. So. Probably with the Ram Z. Yeah, Ram Z yeah. as well. Yeah. Do for Ram and Jack as well. Like. Oh, we'll have you back, Terry, don't yeah. worry about Let's it. Let's do a healing day and incorporate that. <laughs> well, we as, we as spirits, we're unique. Yeah? And God is our real saviour, without a shadow of a doubt. But it's nothing to do with religion or Christianity. Love one another. That's the key. Forget who's right and who's wrong, because it's all an illusion. It's the energy. It's that spirit we give off. And if you truly love one another, there's, there's no end to what you can do. It's amazing.